Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Good morning, everyone. I'm Nicole Nalepa. We are following the latest for you on this Monday morning on the coronavirus outbreak. So let's start you off with the latest numbers. We know that more than 33,000 people have tested positive in our state. There are also almost 3,000 COVID-related deaths in Connecticut. But hospitalizations continue to decline. More than 1,200 people remain in the hospital as of this morning. Now, we are now nine days away from the first phase of reopening our state, which include hair salons, barbershops, museums and zoos, restaurants and retail stores. Over the weekend, the governor released 14 pages of guidelines that businesses should follow if they choose to reopen on May 20th, some of which include restaurants will only be allowed to seat customers outside with proper distancing, hair salons are banned from using hair dryers for now, and patrons must continue wearing face masks. Those over 65 are also encouraged to stay home. Governor Lamont says his team is also looking at other states that have already opened just to see what's worked and what hasn't worked. And today, the Reopen Connecticut Advisory Group will be holding a roundtable discussion at 11 this morning that will focus on how to get kids back to school. The Department of Education has been waiting for the group to develop guidelines when it comes to reopening up summer school programs. So looking to the fall, schools could look very different once they reopen since they aren't outfitted for social distancing. The governor has said there could be a hybrid plan going forward of online learning and classroom learning. Now for the latest on that forecast, we'll send it over to Scott. All right, Nicole. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Good Monday morning, May 11th. Uh, it is Monday and we are starting off nice, but uh, troublesome weather could arrive this afternoon through this evening. As a matter of fact, as late this morning through the afternoon and into early this evening in the form of thunderstorms. And as you can see, the temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler than normal, but don't be fooled. There's enough uh, instability in the atmosphere that thunderstorms could materialize and roll through the state this afternoon, some of which could pack a punch. What does that mean? Locally heavy rainfall, strong cloud to ground lightning, gusty winds, and the possibility of hail exists during the day today. Therefore, we've gone ahead and issued an early warning weather alert. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday all look good. Thursday night, some rain. Friday, unsettled weather with a 75-degree reading. And then Saturday and Sunday feature showers, but not a washout. Let's check out your early warning forecast. I'm meteorologist Scott Henney from the West End of Hartford. Have a great day.